Hi, Sandra Jensen again. I'm at the NEC and I'm proud to have been involved with the 100 years of the Ettles brand of caravans. Swift, of course, who are now the owners of the Ettles brand, are celebrating in style and it's been done this massive big plaque here. See, we've done it because basically what I've done is supplied all the archive material. And also, last year I wrote a book on the story of Ettles caravans because Ettles was a true innovator. They had a dedicated factory at uh, Sturchley, at Birmingham, and proper production lines. And in the war, they made uh, military vehicles. And in leisure time again, after the war, they went back into full swing and making touring caravans. They were the first to make commercial touring caravans. So basically, they invented caravanning. There's lots of images here from the 50s and 60s and the 20s and the 30s and it's a great way of people just to come and glance and look at those images and see how the, car the brand has transformed. We also have a picture there of Gracie Fields because Gracie, our Gracie, she was so well known in the 30s and well liked. She even bought an Ettles in about 1935 and also we've done a little video so this is playing along as well which is rather good. So it goes again through all the uh, ages, you see again all the different uh, designs and how Ettles innovated in lots of ways. We've also done this wall board and here we have, we've got our timelines on here, we've also got our images again and we've also got bits of information on things that happened in those particular decades or years. And what I particularly like is this sign at the top here which is uh, which displays really all the old original Ettles logos. I think that's a really nice touch. I like that. But also, the next exciting thing is that Swift have bought their 1938 Ettles president with them. This was about 12 years ago. I saw in a bit of a sorry state. And then a few years later, they invited me to the factory, to a corner of the factory, and they were renovating this van. And it really was great to see it happen because they did a really good job. They got some of their old skilled craftsmen that they had and they got a dedicated team on it. They stripped it all down. They did all the woodwork inside. It's all been re-varnished, repaired. And of course, it was all well re-sprayed as well. Lovely, lovely finish, that's that, I'll, I'll admit. Whoever's done it has done a fantastic job. Look at the size of the wheels. There's two doors as well kitchen end so you could go and you get in and out of the kitchen not disturb the people in the front lounge area there's also a side bed over there and a side dresser here look at the size of those wheels as well this would have cost around about 340 pounds when it was new and more when you have to have a few extras on it there was a radio built in on it there was electric lighting and of course it's got the lantern roof which every must have car and I want Everybody wanted a lantern roof, it was great for ventilation. It was very expensive to make, which also said that this is a luxury caravan to the casual observer. Also, it was quite heavy. This caravan is quite a heavy caravan. Probably weighs around about 30, good 30 hundred weight. But it's just great to see it here, and it's great to, that we should be celebrating an English or, or British brand of touring caravan that still has a heritage of 100 years behind it and is still current and is owned by the Swift Group. I say, well done Swift, keeping the brand alive and it's the oldest caravan manufacturing brand left in the world. Ettles is the oldest one. So not only we celebrating 100 years of Ettles, we're also celebrating the fact is that Ettles really did pioneer the modern touring caravan that we all know of today. I'm Andrewson, I'm stopping off, I'm going to go and have a bit of something to eat now because it's been a hard day and uh, I'll speak to you again soon no doubt. Bye.